Firebase, a suite of tools for building apps and managing infrastructure on top of Google Cloud Platform. It was founded by James Tamplin and Andrew Lee in 2011, after they discovered that developers were using their chat software to manage non-chat application data. This inspired them to create a real-time database, a JSON database that automatically stays in sync with your front-end application. It was later expanded to support user authentication and website hosting to act as a complete back-end as a service. In 2014, it was acquired by Google, where it was further expanded with serverless computing via cloud functions, push notifications via cloud messaging, and other Google services like Analytics and AdMob. In 2017, Google acquired Fabric from Twitter and also launched a new document database called Firestore to support a wider range of applications. Most importantly though, Firebase provides software development kits for virtually every platform to manage and scale this infrastructure with little to no back-end code. To build a full-stack application right now, create a free Firebase project, then open up some code for your favorite front-end platform, install the Firebase SDK, then connect it to the cloud with your project credentials. Once initialized, you can start interacting with your backend resources. First, we might want to know if the user is logged in or not. We can listen to the current user with the on auth state changed function. The user will be null at first, but we can log them in with their Google account using the sign in with pop up function. Now that we have a user logged in, we might want to store something in a database. We can make a reference to a document in Firestore, then write JSON data to it while making a reference to the current user's user ID. But the amazing thing is that we can listen to updates to that data in real time by simply referencing the document using the on snapshot function. Anytime the data changes on the server, it'll be reflected in the UI with zero latency thanks to optimistic updates out of the box. But that doesn't seem very secure. How do we control who has access to the database? Firestore security rules allow you to define access control logic in a simple readable format with common expression language. You can do almost everything from the front end, but when you do need to run server-side code, Firebase Cloud Functions provides a tightly integrated serverless backend. Not only only does it allow you to create HTTP endpoints, but functions can also be triggered in the background based on events that happen in your project, like writes to the database, user authentication events, file uploads, and many others. When developing locally, Firebase has an emulator suite to run and test your code in a mock environment. When it's time to deploy, run the Firebase deploy command to push your code to the cloud and allocate infrastructure to run it at any scale. This has been Firebase in 100 seconds. If you're ready to build a serious app with Firebase, I can think of no better place to learn than Fireship IO the web app I built with Firebase to teach Firebase. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.